Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Gulati. I am currently working as a wealth manager at leading wealth management firm. Along with that, I am pursuing a deep dive data science course from IV Professional School. As a part of my SQL research project, I have chosen stocks analysis uh, based on some parameters as my project. So let's begin. So in this project, this is the contents that we will be discussing. Uh, so in this case study, I have taken the data set from Kegel website uh, and the link of this is mentioned here. Let me show you the data sets. So from here, I have imported, uh, I have used the data sets. Here are 50 uh, data sets uh, present of the 50 companies. So I have used the three, uh, three of them from here. And the attributes in my data sets are a date, symbol, open, high, low close and volume uh, data in data sets is from 4 Jan 2010 till 30th April 2021 the first data sets uh, data set is of Ultratech cement second is of Maruti Suzuki and third data set is of Bharti Atal uh, let me show you the data set So this is the data uh, data set of Maruti. Uh, you can see the date. Uh, the attributes are date, symbol, open, high, low, close, and volume. Uh, so what what does it represent? Is basically on 4 Jan 2010, Maruti Suzuki st uh, stock price open at uh, 1565 rupees, and high was 1586.7, and low was 1546.15, uh, and it closed at 1551.45, and the volume was this much on that day. So this is the data and it's it's present uh, till 30th April 2021. Similarly, uh, is the data like from uh, for Ultratech cement and similarly for Bharti Atal. So the objective uh, today to uh, is to analyze Ultratech cement limited, Maruti Suzuki limited and Bharti Airtel Limited on these parameters of uh, volatility, uh, drawdown percentage, recovery days, number of days stock uh, price close above its previous days close, CAGR returns, highest volume month and so we will be scoring them based on the above criteria. I will be explaining each parameter in detail uh, when we proceed further. Now I will give you a brief about the companies uh, that we are analyzing today. The first is the Bharti Airtel Limited. Uh, it's the second largest mobile operator in India, mobile uh, network provider in India. It has 40.3 crore users as on March 2019. The next company is Ultratech Cement Limited. It's it's uh, largest cement producer in India. It's a flagship company of Aditya Birla Group. Next company is Maruti Suzuki India Limited. Uh, it's uh, India's largest passenger car maker. It has a market share of 42.53% as on December 2021. Uh, now we'll be do doing the data analysis. I've used my SQL workbench to run my queries and Excel along with the trading software to create charts of, as my reporting tools. Let me show you the my SQL workbench. This is my SQL workbench. Uh, I've used these queries uh, in my project. So there are two ways of importing data in MySQL Workbench. The first one is a table wizard method. Uh, we can import uh, using this method. And I have used this method only as I don't have uh, the larger data set. The other method is the command prompt method. We can use that method when we are having a large data set. I've used the uh, table wizard method as my data was uh, not that large. So I've already imported it, imported the data. Let me sh uh, show you the imported data. So this is, a ATL of, uh, this is the data of Bharti ATL. This is the data of Maruti Suzuki Limited and this is the data of uh, Ultratech Cement Limited. Uh, so now we'll be analyzing the uh, each parameter. The first parameter is the volatility. So it means uh, the variation of trading price over a period of time. The time frame that we have considered here is from 4 Jan 2010 till 30th April 2021. So the formula uh, that I have used is average of day high minus day low. Over a, over a period of time, the time frame that we consider is the mentioned here. So let me show you the code. So 
so we can see the uh, average volatility of uh, all the companies let's get back to the graphical representation so here we can see the bharti uh, average uh, average volatility was 11.6 similarly of maruti suzuki was 11 point uh, was 99.1 and ultra tech cement was 75.36 so inside sir uh, volatility is lower the better bharti is the least volatile stock and maruti suzuki is the most volatile stock so the next parameter is drawdown or fall in percentage for in fall in the stock price and the time frame that i have considered is from 20th feb 2020 till 23rd march 2020 so it's the covid period when covid uh, fall came in the markets so uh, so drawdown is basically the fall in the uh, stock price so the formula used is basically the percentage percentage formula that is final minus initial value divided by initial value multiplied by 100 so let me show you the code for the same so this is the uh, cagr of ultratex cement similarly we can calculate of the other companies i have calculated individually so let's go back to the graphical representation so here we can see that the ultratech uh, ultratech cements drawdown was my 31.01 percent maruti suzuki was 7 37.55 and bharti it was drawdown was 25.34 percent inside sir drawdown lower the better uh, bharti it has the least drawdown and Maruti Suzuki has the most uh, drawdown during the uh, during the specified time period. So I have shown this in the uh, chart uh, graphical representation. Even uh, on the on the chart, it is a real time chart of a uh, uh, during the, of that time frame. So we can see Maruti Suzuki's drawdown. Next, Ultra Tech Cement's drawdown, and the next is the Bharti Tech's drawdown. So the next parameter that we have is recovery days, number of days taken by stock to close our bids pre covid close price so it simply means the number of days stock uh, stock has taken to reach above its uh, pre covid close let me show you the code for the same so uh, maruti suzuki took 147 days similarly we can capture for the other companies so uh, we can see in the graph that 44 it bharti took 44 days and maruti suzuki 147 days and alter tech cement took 205 days to reach reach above its pre covid price so insights are recovery lesser the better because it shows uh, the your, your recovery uh, you are able to recover quickly and so uh, so we can see bharti has the highest fastest recovery alter tech cement has the slowest recovery similarly we can see on the charts even uh, during that time frame of Maruti Suzuki recovery, this is Ultra Tech Cement recovery, and next is the Bharti Tells recovery days. And the next parameter is the number of days when stock price closed above its previous day closed price. So let me show you the code for the same. So here we can see the the days, the number of days when the stock price of each of the companies close above its uh, previous day close. So let's get back to the this thing uh, chart. Uh, so we can see that Bharti closed 1381 days above its previous day close. Maruti Suzuki closed 1396 days, and similarly Ultra Tech Cement closed 1440 days. So inside, sir, uh, the strength the, I am representing it as a strength. So it's higher the better. Bharti Tel uh, has the minimum and uh, mi minimum number of days close above its pre covid close and ultra tech cement ma has uh, ma closed maximum number of days above its pre uh, uh, previous day close among the three so the next formula is cagr compounded annual growth rate formula so uh, so here is the definition and the formula that i have used let me explain you simply what what does the cagr mean so to give an example, I will explain you by giving an example, the 10% CAGR means, suppose you have a 100, 100 rupees at the uh, at zero year zero. So next year it will grow at the rate of 10% on the base of 100. So it will become 110. 
and from year 1 to year 2 there will be a 10 percent decrease but the base would be 110 so that's the main difference between a normal uh, uh, normal increase and the per CAGR percentage increase so we can see that from year 0 to year 1 the increase was 10 rupees and from year 1 to year 2 it was 11 rupees while in the normal percentage increase it's a uh, 10 constant each year so that's the main difference so let me show you the code for the same so here's the code for maruti suzuki cagr so it's 13.41 percent similarly we can calculate for other companies as well so the other bharti Tel cagr is during the specified time uh, period uh, is 4.52 percent and maruti suzuki is 13.41 and ultratech cement is 17.96 so i have also represent on the chart uh, the cagr from 4 jan 2010 till 30th april 2020 of maruti is 13 13.41 similarly we can say of ultratech similarly we can see of bharti at all so the next parameter is the maximum volume month the month uh, the the month where the maximum volume uh, was there of particular company so let me show you the code for the same see we can see the bar title maximum volume volume were in the in the feb <coughs> feb 2021 similarly we can calculate for the other companies ultratech cement ha <coughs> has the highest volume in november 2016 similarly maruti suzuki had <coughs> in november 2015 so we can also see the, on the chart that ultratech, ultratech cement highest volume month and similarly for maruti suzuki and similarly for bharti Atal. Uh, now I have given uh, the weightages to each of the parameter the five parameter that we have analyzed the first and first one is the volatility I have given the 10% weightage and drawdown I have given 20% and the recovery days I have given 20% and close above its previous day close I have given 20% and to CAGR even 20% so these are the individual score that each company has scored so so like the Bharti Atal uh, was the least volatile so it has been it has been given three uh, three score and similarly in drawdown also three score recovery also three and in uh, in close of our previous close days it has been given one because it was uh, uh, on the third position similarly in cagr it was on third position so i uh, i have given it the one score similarly for all other companies i have given now we'll be calculating the final score based on all these parameters now we'll be uh, scoring each company as uh, we'll giving the final score to each company based on the based on the individual score in each parameter and along with the weightages of each parameter as we discussed now so let me show you the code for the same So as we can see, we have the final score of all the companies. Uh, this is the graphical representation of the final score. So we can see that Ultra Tech Cement has scored the two, that is the highest, and Maruti Suzuki has scored 1.5, that is the least, and uh, Bharti has scored the second highest, that is 1.9. So these are the final scores uh, on all the parameter that we have discussed. Similarly, we can rate any company on based on the uh, any parameter that we uh, that we want as per our needs. So yeah, uh, that's it and thank you. Thank you.